Okay, so today we're going to be looking at step four, which is how to install and set up your premium plugins and WooCommerce. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is type in your domain name and go along to that. And I'll just have a look and see what it says. Now, it should come up with a message similar to this. Okay, and all you need to do is put forward slash WP dash admin. Now, this is only if you've not bookmarked it, so we can get back to where we were in step three. Okay, now you want to log into your WordPress again. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you want to go to plugins. Okay, and you want to select everyone apart from Akismet. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to deactivate these. Just go to bulk actions, deactivate and apply. Okay, now that's them all deactivated, but we still need to highlight them again. Go to bulk actions and this time delete them and apply okay so sh we should all have the same which is one plugin uh, which will be your Akismet okay now the next thing you want to do is go to add new and go to the search bar type in WooCommerce okay now it's the first one on the top left there Okay, now you want to install this. Okay, now once you've installed it, you'll be taken to a page which says this. It'll say, uploading the package, installing the plugin, and then you just need to activate it. Okay, now once you've activated it, you'll be transferred to a page that looks exactly like this. Okay, now we just click, let's go. You'll then be taken to a page called Page Setup. Now we need to do this in order for WooCommerce to work. We need to add these pages. So if you just click continue, it will do it automatically. Okay, now you'll be taken to the next page, which is your store locale setup. Okay, now obviously if you're, you just change the top one to wherever you are, which is United Kingdom for me, and whoever the majority of customers are going to be selling to, obviously if it's America, you use dollars, yeah, but I'm just going to stick with pounds how it is. Okay, now the next one is shipping and tax sale. We don't need this because Amazon's going to sort that out, so just skip this step. Okay, and the same with your payments. Amazon's going to handle all payments, so just skip this step as well. Okay, now that's you completed setting up WooCommerce. Okay, so what to do is go back to WordPress and then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the premium plugin which we left on your desktop once you're back on the desktop what you want to do is you want to right click on that folder that we left there from the intro you want to extract it okay and once you've extracted it you'll end up with a folder which is exactly the same but obviously it's not a zip file so we want to go back to wordpress we want to go to plugins Add new. Okay. And then we want to go to upload plugin. Okay, now go to choose file. And then we want to select obviously your desktop. And you're looking for the unzipped Code Canyon file, which will be the not this one. But this one. Okay, now you click on this, click on 1.5 on Mac if you're doing it on an Apple, and then you go to WooZone, click on that, click on 8.4.11. Now your number might be different. Okay, now you click on plugin, and then there's the plugin there. Okay, so you open that file, WooZone.zip. Okay, now install that. Now, once it's installed, you have to activate it. Okay, so we'll just click on activate 
<clears throat> excuse me. Okay, now what we need to first thing we need to do to make Woozone work is put in the purchase code. Now, in order to get your purchase code, we're going to have to go back to Envato Market. Okay, so you need to sign back into your Envato account, which is where you got the bundle pack from. Okay, now I've put a link on the screen just here if you need to do that. Okay, now you want to go, once you're signed in, you want to go to Downloads. And you want to click on Woozone, you want to click on the actual, that's it, click right there. And then you want to go to support, you see the tab at the top, support. Click that. Okay, now if you scroll to the bottom, your purchase code will be at the bottom. Now I've uh, blurred mine out for security reasons. Okay, now you just copy, copy your purchase code. And then we'll go back to... Woozone and we'll paste it in the box just there. Okay, now once you've pasted it, you want to go down to activate now. Okay, now that's it. Once it's activated, you'll see this screen. Okay, now the next thing is it says that we need to install a premium theme. Now we already have the kingdom theme, so we'll go to appearance. Okay, and then we'll go to themes. Okay, now add new at the top. Click that. Okay, now upload. Click that as well. Okay, now choose file. We're going back to the same file as the first time. So we just need to go back out from the zone. In fact, just go back to the desktop. Code Canyon. The zone zipped. 1.5. And you'll see at the top there we have the Kingdom Amazon Affiliate Theme. You click that, 1.62, and you'll see the zip file at the bottom. Click the zip file, open it, and install now. Okay, now that's your theme installed. So what we're going to do is activate it. That's activated. Okay, now it also says that we need to install required plugins. Okay, so what to do is click on begin installing plugins. So now we want to select all, go to bulk actions and install. Then click apply. Now, once they've been installed, you're going to have to still go back and activate these. Okay, so if you go to the bottom, it will say return. So you click on that. And then highlight them all again. Go to bulk actions. Activate. And then apply. Okay, now that's you completely installed WooCommerce and WooZone. Now what we need to do is we need to configure Woozone, but we'll have a look at the, the site first just to see the difference. Okay, now that's what your site looks like now. So it's starting to take shape. Obviously it has no products, products or anything, but we'll move on to that in step five. Okay, now what you want to do is at the top, it will say that there's a misconfiguration. And so if you want to click that, I don't know if yours will say this, but mine does. So we're going to click that and sort this problem. Okay, now it's given me a box that says validate. So all I'm going to do is click the validate. Okay, now that's that. Now there is another message up the top, the very top. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to just press the X on this because we don't need to see this anymore. Okay, now we want to install default configuration for Boozone. Okay, 
Okay. Now you'll see in the bottom right hand corner there's a install button. If you just click this. That's it. That's your setup. Now what you want to do is you want to go and configure it for your Amazon associate account. So if you go to configuration, Amazon config, okay now I'm just going to leave auto detect, I'm going to leave it as worldwide. I did change it but I'm just going to, I changed it back to worldwide. Okay now you want to click on that blue AWS account management which will take you through to a thing called Amazon web services. Now I've got an account so I'm just going to sign in but you'll need to create an account and get your access keys. Okay, now I'll show you what happens. You go in and obviously now you will have to you'll have to create an IEM user which will give you an automatically give you your access keys, which you'll see this, you'll get to download that. Okay, now you keep that file safe and you want to take those credentials that you saved on your computer and enter them into these boxes. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to go to your associate account and you want to set up an affiliate link for this site. Okay, now I'm going to sign into my Amazon uh, Associate Central and I'm going to create a new a new tag. Okay, so I'm going to manage, add new tracking. And I'm going to call it city farming and I'm going to save ok now it's available so I'll update that ok now what to do is copy this and then take it back to wordpress and all these boxes you're just going to enter that code your tracking code and this is so you get paid for your commissions because if you don't enter this then you won't get any commissions okay now i'm just going to insert it in all boxes and um, but if you're just selling in the uk obviously you just need to enter the uk if you're just selling in the us just the us but i'm selling world worldwide so i'm just going to enter them all okay now if you scroll down to the bottom there's another box that says your main affiliate ID. Now I registered mine in the UK, so I'm going to change that to the UK. And then you want to check and make sure that your Amazon AWS keys are working. Okay, now that saves saves options and it also says that it's working. Which is great. Okay, so just click OK and I'm just going to save the settings to be safe. Okay, save the settings. And then scroll up to the top. And go to plugin setup. You're just going to check all these. I mean, I don't. I'm not going to change anything. I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay. There's some good option. Obviously, it tells you you've got 90 day cookies, which means if somebody goes from here, uh, goes off to Amazon, if they buy anything within 90 days, you'll get a commission on that. So it's a great wee, a wee bonus. Okay. So we're just going to just ignore all this. Uh, just make sure that it's the same. It should be if it's at default. Okay. And the last one's bug fixes. Okay, now you can uh, click these to clean them out, um, but it's not going to do anything just now. I'll just show you. Uh, no duplicates found. Nothing. Just ignore that. Okay, now if, if you do have any problems with any products, you would go to fix now at the bottom and this would fix any products that say maybe the pictures or something's wrong with them. But like I said, we've no product so it's going to come back that it can't do nothing. Okay. Well, that's it, you're now complete. You've now installed WooZone, WooCommerce and all the associated plugins that need to be installed and you've got your theme all ready to be personalized and modified to your niche.